Hello, everybody. This is going to be an introduction to numerical algebra. So we're thinking about being in a numerical analysis class, and we are hitting the first major chapter of numerical analysis methods, and that would be algebra. So the primary goal of numerical algebra is to solve equations of the form uh, some function on the left, L of x, is equal to some function on the right, R of x. In other words, you have some algebraic expression on the left, some algebraic expression on the right, and you want to solve for x. This is typical high school algebra. Except, as you know, high school algebra is sometimes really hard, tricky, and maybe even impossible for, for you to do. So we want to build some algorithms in this chapter. That's what we're going to do. Build some algorithms to solve equations like this. And then if we build an algorithm, we want to see how fast the algorithm works. And we want to see maybe how well it's going to do if we take one more step in the algorithm. So let's look at some examples here. Let's say we want to solve this equation. So 3 sine x plus 9 equals x squared minus cosine x. Stop and think for a second. Could you do anything to solve this by hand? I mean, just think about every technique that you know from algebra, could you solve this by hand? I venture a guess that the answer is no, of course. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the right-hand side and subtract it over to the left. You can ignore all of my code here. So what we're looking at, let's zoom out one step here. The blue curve here is the 3 sine x plus 9. The black solid curve is the x squared minus cosine x. And if I subtract, left minus right, I get this particular curve. So what we're looking for is either where these two intersect, where left equals right, where they intersect, or where left minus right equals zero. Now I'm belaboring this fact because we're actually gonna look at every algorithm that we use solving some function equals zero, which is really left side minus right side equals zero. So I wanna find where these two stars are. And um, we're going to build algor algorithms to do that. Now, another thing we're going to do is look at analysis of algorithms. So the algorithms we're going to try are all iterative. So they try something, then they improve upon it, then they improve upon that, and improve upon that, and so on. So again, you can always ignore my code in these little quick videos. Let's say we've got two different competing algorithms. And this is iteration number on the horizontal axis and absolute error on the vertical axis. Method number one is the blue stars coming down this way. Method number two is the red stars. And stop and think about it for a second. Which one do you think is actually performing better? Which one would you prefer? Which one would you want to use over the other? Now what I'm hoping is that you chose method number two. It looks like at each iteration we improve maybe even by two orders of magnitude on the um, no, one and a half to two orders of magnitude on the absolute error. Whereas on method number one, now sometimes it actually bumps up, but it looks like on average, maybe it's improving by one order of magnitude with each step. So these are the sorts of things that we're going to, um, we're going to play with throughout this chapter. Have fun and I'll see you in the next one.